Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. And we've got something a bit new, a bit different and a bit new today. We've got double checkpoints uh, system working on, in the game now. So, in, so I, this means I get a bit of a choice about which checkpoint I go after. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, there are two checkpoints at the moment. They are one, there's one at the pier entrance and there's one in North Vinewood. <clears throat> now I'm really, really close to the North Vinewood one. So it feels a little bit, possibly a little bit cheap to take it from here. But I think I'll drive slowly over to it and see if I, see if I spot any hunters. And if I spot any before I get there, then it's probably fair enough. I will, however, change my um, clothes to something a bit more subtle. Yeah, he'll, he'll do. And now back to waiting here at the, yeah, the light spray for a green. Oop, there's one of the hunters. There's Pete going past at, at speed. I hope he didn't see... Oh, there is a bit of damage on the front of my car. That was not my fault. I was driving along the road perfectly innocently and somebody drove into the front of me. So, And it wasn't even a hunter. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I haven't changed my car yet. I probably should, but I haven't used one of these Dukes for a while and they are quite... They're quite cool cars. I'm not sure whether they're actually good, but they, have a, they definitely have a certain style. There's another two hunters. So we are playing with the uh, the Circle of Doom at the moment. The, the uh, hunters can use to navigate. Oh, and there's another hunter as well. We've got a yellow one and we've got an orange one. It's very citrusy around here. Um, and so, yeah, the, um, the circle appears on the maps for them, but not for me. And that allows them to work out roughly where I am and try and track me down. Now, early on in the game, the, the circle covers quite a lot of the city. So it's, going to take, so it's not giving them a huge amount of information. But as we progress through the game, it will gradually shrink over time. And as I take, as I take checkpoints, the maximum size will, will also shrink a little bit. And the... Um, but I'll gain a little bit of the circle size back. So I'm going to take that checkpoint... I'm going to drive off this way after Mike, because it seems like a good idea. I'm on the wrong side of the road, that's not a good um, way to be subtle. <laughs> but I've got the checkpoint, and I don't think Tristan noticed me driving on the wrong side of the road, possibly because he is also British, and <laughs> therefore it seemed to be the correct side of the road as far as he was concerned. Oh dear. It was only because it said stop on the road that I realised I was going the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> right. So yes, the hunters, they will be um, trying to trying to catch me, trying to hunt me down and, uh, and, and shoot me, because they're cruel and violent and so on um, and if they manage to do that if they manage to kill me or if I die in some sort of unforeseen circumstances like falling off a cliff or something like that then then I lose and they win on the other hand if I manage to go around the city taking all the checkpoints and this time I have a choice between hills crossroads and dock entrance those are very very far apart um, if I manage to get all five checkpoints or one of if I manage to get a checkpoint all five times the pair pops up then I win so let's see if we can do that Actually, I should steal one of. The, I should have stolen that car because it's quite a good one. Um, big good one to get all the way down to the docks in. But let's see if we can sneak down there a little bit. Or alternatively, are there any hunters around? Is it safe? I think it's safe. I'm going to run over and grab one of those fusillades. Or oh, that fusillade would have been ideal. Let's take the red one. Red's not a lovely colour and lovely and subtle and won't when the hunters won't spot me. <laughs> Where did that come from? So, as I say, they, um, the hunters have a circle that appears on the map, gives them a bit of a clue as to where I am. You'll see that in the second part of this video during the Hunter View uh, section. Um, it gives them a bit of an indication of where uh, where I am, what direction I'm going in and so on, so they can try and use that to hunt me down. Um, I picked up a fast car, let's actually go fast. In the moment, we're playing with the, cir the circle in the, in the mode where when I get to the edge of it, it will teleport, and it will teleport to put me somewhere randomly in the circle. So each time it moves, they know that I was on the edge of where the circle used to be, um, and also that I am now somewhere in the somewhere in the circle. So they can they can sort of cal calculate is too strong a word. They can sort of guess. I can't drive today. It's not a good start. Um, they can sort of estimate where I roughly where I am using the way the circle moves around, and that allows them to sort of take, get a bit of a feel for what for what I'm up to, where I'm going, and to try and get themselves into the right place to to try and hunt me down. Now, of course, um, I don't know where the circle is, so I don't know when I'm going to ping the edges of it. But I do know that when I'm driving quickly like this, I'm going to be moving it all the time. So it's going to be really, really obvious to them that I'm heading down towards the docks at high speed. Um, that's mildly unfortunate, but it can't really be helped. And I don't, I don't care if they know that, because they, once I get down there, that's the point when I need to start being sneaky and hidey and that sort of thing. Um, but for now... They won't be able to keep up with me because I'm in a much, much faster car. 
So I'm just going to hoon down there like this. And then they will try and take that one on foot because I haven't done that for a while. And it gives them a good chance to catch up with me as well. So it's a, it feels like a sort of a, a way to give them a way to give them the chance that they might need. Because if, if I'm driving around in a fusillade like this, it's, it's not remotely fair on them. That it's going to take them a long time to get down there and to, to, uh, to be ready to interfere with me. So I'm going to sneak down this side road here. Actually, let's let's take that um, buccaneer. Buccaneers are okay, and it's on the road. It's moving. Oh, it's not buccaneer. It's another duke's. Excellent. It's a much more uh, a much more um, exciting car to be using. At least. So we'll take that. And we've upset the we've upset the driver, but that was kind of inevitable. Okay, so I'm going to start driving properly again now. So we're going to head out from here. I'm going to turn right because that's what the roads are the arrows on the road so I have to do. Then I'm going to pull what's probably going to be an illegal U-turn at this, this junction here. And at that point I need to wait for the hunters to get, come down and catch up a little bit because after the way I drove down the city, as I was saying earlier, it, it, it wouldn't be fair to then try and take the checkpoint from here. So I'll turn like that, then like this, trying to stay on the road. So if I head down over here now, I think I see, I think I see an orange hunter or possibly a yellow hunter behind me in the distance. Yes, that looks like the yellow one. There's purple. Purple has definitely got suspicious of me because I'm lurking around in the right area. Now, oh. Play dead, play dead, play dead. Now, is he going to be fooled by me playing dead or is he just going to summon in lots and lots of hunters? Mike is lurking in the area and hasn't come to, to join in. Oops. I think there is shooting happening. I don't want to be here anymore. Now, the problem with that is I sat still for long enough playing, trying to play dead and whatnot that Tristan will have had a good look at my character model. So he's now going to know what I look like. And that is probably going to give me issues later on in the game when I'm trying to hide from them and trying to be vaguely subtle. <laughs> Perfect endor breaking the, the rare double endor breaking maneuver where both of them shot past me, one on either side. That was perfect. Now there is another uh, hunter still on my tail, and he's going to be—he's going to be trying to stick stick with me and give them instructions as to where I've gone and guidance to try and help help them find me again. Um, I'm in the ghetto area now, which is quite nice because there's lots of sort of tight little winding roads, none of which I'm taking at the moment because I'm a muppet. No, because I'm trying to get. So that I don't just come around a corner and immediately find the hunters again, as, that, as often happens. Oh, this is a big, slidey, muscle car type thing. Okay, it looks like Ed is doing a very good job of giving them, guiding the hunters to me. That's um, unfortunate. Oh. Which way can I? Which way can I actually go from here? I seem to be rather. Am I pinned? Yes. Oh, oh, that was a good shot. It was a nice chase till then, anyway. It's genuinely weirding me out, the fact that I'd have more than a single frame to look at <laughs> at any given time. He's taken it. What? Yeah. I feel he's rolled onto the motorway. So it's going to be really, really obvious to them that I'm heading down towards the docks at high speed. Check all these down this way, Tristan, really. behind you. I, I looked at them and they didn't, they didn't immediately become suspicious. Okay. But... Oh, civilians? This one. This uh, grey muscle car. Um, uh, where? Uh, by the checkpoint. Now, is he going to be fooled by me playing dead, or is he just going to summon um, in lots and lots of hunters? When, when you say by... The one right by me. Alright, I see you. I got front. Okay, yep, that's... Heading north. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I can actually do anything in a chase this time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so far so good. It's heading due north from the checkpoint. Yep. I'm on your 
He's going to try an end or break in a second. Okay, I'm on his right hand side. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the left. <coughs> that was unfortunate. He's turned left again. That was perfectly timed, Crash. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're in ghetto. I'm following yep. you. I'm keeping up with you. Shocking. For the first time ever. Uh, turning towards Arena. Uh, up along the train lines. Nice hit. Nice pit. Ah! Oh, that... <laughs> Got him. Someone get out and shoot him. Out. Nice. Very good. Very good. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays and today we're playing Manhunt Survival which is where I bimble around in some random part of the map. Today we're in the sort of the, the general northern area of it um, and I have to try and survive basically. There are no checkpoints for me to get in this mode um, but I have, but um, there is still the circle on the uh, on the hunter's maps, and the circle, much like in the normal checkpoint mode, will gradually shrink over time. Um, and when this circle, uh, yee, hunters, hunters everywhere. Right, so <laughs> there's a lot of them around. So uh, the circle, as I say, gradually shrinks over time, and when it gets down to the minimum size, which I believe is 100 meters in 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 radius or diameter, one or the other. Uh, when it gets to that size, I win the game. Simple. Um, so the trick for me is just to keep stay alive and not get spotted and, and, and picked off by the hunters for that amount of time. So the circle sits just sits motionless on the map as long as I'm inside it. However, as soon as I touch the edge of it, the circle will teleport to um, to a random position to, to put me in a random posi position inside it, essentially. So it could move a very small distance it could move the entire di diameter of the circle across or anywhere anywhere in between so when the hunters see the circle move they know that I'm basically on the edge of where it was and I'm still somewhere inside it so it gives them a big clue as to where I am um, I so to an extent it's possibly worth me trying to stay in a reasonably confined area because that way I stay inside the circle and it's a bit harder and it doesn't move around however that feels a bit sort of cheap and unfair on the hunter so I am going to keep moving even if I am going relatively slowly. There's also various systems in it that make the, um, the circle change size at different speeds depending on um, what, what I'm driving. So at the moment I'm in what probably counts as a generic SUV. There's a hunter. Um, so the circle will be shrinking at standard speed. If I switch into a sports or supercar the circle will then shrink much more slowly. Um, if I switch into an industrial vehicle like a bulldozer or something like that, then the circle will shrink more quickly, um, but I will have a lot of trouble getting away. And there don't seem to be a great deal of industrial vehicles around here, so I'm just going to stick with this, which is probably basically a... It looks kind of like a Toyota Hilux. It's probably the GTA equivalent of that. Um, and it's sort of a... Oh, pff, there's Tristan having a moment behind me. Um, yeah, it's a sort of fairly generic standard vehicle, I guess. So I'm going to trundle around the uh, the area outside the city here. Oh, well, let's cross over the railway line. See see where we get where where we end up. I don't really have a specific plan at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and mostly stay on stay on road. I think I'm about to get in trouble. I'm going to try and mostly stay on the road because I feel it's. It's a bit unfair if I go off if I if I hide somewhere in the out in, in the wilderness. So I want to keep moving, and I want to stay on normal roads. Tristan's Sand King is right behind me and sort of looming unpleasantly in my rearview mirror. I think he's probably suspicious of me, so I'm going to turn down here. There aren't any specific hard and fast rules in this game mode. It's just generally I drive around, they try and find me, and we see how it goes. I don't like the way he's lurking behind me like this. I'm going to try and get out of here. Now, I suspect his Sand King is at least as fast as my possibly a possibly a Hilux. So I'm probably going to struggle to get away from him. I've, I've got a bit, a little bit of a gap over him there. 
Um, let's see how this see how this goes on on the roads, and then at some point maybe I'll switch over to an off-road uh, section as well. I do seem to be gradually pulling away from him actually, so this might be an opportunity to escape. So the hunters normally they'll all drive coupes, which means they will be much much faster than me in this particularly um, terrible vehicle. Um, however, they because we're in this it, we're outside the city in an area that's full of off-road nonsense. They've decided that they're all going to. We've decided to give them a bit more of a, a free, a free hand when it comes to choosing vehicles. So they're all probably going to be in um, off-road vehicles as well, as we can see. You know, he's struggling to keep up. So this is this is quite good. I'm not really losing him though. Um, so let's try taking a junction, like, a, a side road like this. No, I didn't think that would get him. It wasn't. It wasn't a sharp enough corner. Oh, that's a slide. That's going to. Oh, he's gone off. <laughs> okay, if he goes off the side of the road like that, then um, that might that might get me my freedom. So if I come up here, right, so what I'm going to try and do is follow this road. Where am I going? This is going to take me back towards the city a bit too much, which is a shame. Um, but I want to get round a corner and then hide like this. So did he see me do that? So that's the question. If he did, then all this will have been for nothing. And he's going to catch up with me. But if I can just turn around here, he's hopefully going to have got back on the road and he's going to wild, wildly overshot. So if I sneak off down this way, let's follow this river. I say river, let's follow the stream through that bird. Yeah, this seems like a nice way to escape, especially given, given that we're playing in a more. I say, I say escape, try and escape, given that we're playing in a much more off roady kind of way. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I do need to. I do want to find a different vehicle now because Tristan has seen this one quite clearly. He's going to describe it as, as a rusty um, Hilux, probably to everybody. The so only one who sees it now is going to be um, is going to be out looking for me. So I want to get down to another road and switch into something else. Now the problem is around here. There aren't very many roads. Therefore, there aren't very many opportunities to change vehicle. But however, this will do nicely. So because yeah, because they're all driving, um, coupe, they're all driving off-road vehicles. I'm going to take this Oracle, and that should mean it'll be relatively easy for me to get away from them if I need to. I'm also going to carry on sort of northbound-ish because I want to keep away from the, uh, the away from the city. Um, I don't re uh, the, we normally play in the city, so I'd rather go somewhere else. Now there is the uh, the running joke of Lawrence always drives an Oracle, and I am in fact driving an Oracle. However, that is, I think it's going to be sufficiently unexpected given where we are, but it's probably okay. The only downside is, an oracle, a nice, clean, shiny oracle like this is probably going to stand out a little bit more than um, other things do in this in this sort of area. So, hmm, we shall have to see. And it's full of things like that, that um, Hummer H2, or uh, what are they called? Uh, Patriots, I think, or the Sand Kings, like that one. So there's a lot of other. There's a lot more sort of. I want to save some truck, off-roady vehicles, that sort of thing. Um, so it's yeah, I'm I'm not as subtle as I would like to be in this car, but it's going to give me a good chance of getting away if and when they spot me because I'm going to be much faster than them, um, unless I decide to go off-road, in which case I might be in trouble. <laughs> but then I'm I'm the, I'm the prey. I'm the one who's fleeing. So in theory, I'm in control of where the chase goes. I mean that might not be the case. I mean my my. Uh, my driving can be a little iffy at times, and sometimes. And, and you, you saw how Tristan um, flew off that corner in, in the Sand King because he's used to driving slightly better cars. So that could that could happen to me as well in the Oracle. You never know. I might I might uh, mess up, mess a corner up and go flying. Um, but I think this is probably going to be. Uh, I think this is going to give me some a, a good chance. So I'm just going to keep trundling gently across the um, across the the. Uh, the the Badlands, whatever this area is called, um, for a little bit, a little bit further, and we'll see, we'll see where we get to. There's the prison over there on the right, and this is kind of a good thing because. Uh, oh, is that a purple Sand King? I see, I see behind me. I think it is. My my concern is I'm going to end up at the motorway and then have to go sort of far and fast and stuff, and I don't really want to do that. I just want to carry on bimbling around this general area, so. There it is. Trundling past. Let's turn off here. Oop. 
Are they all using sand kings? I think they are all using sand kings. <laughs> That's ridiculous, but quite funny. I mean, sand kings are funny. And I think they're probably quite... And they are quite good. They're good off-road vehicles as well. Ooh, Mike's keeping up well. But I'm pretty sure the Oracle should be able to outrun them. Oh dear, I've come to the um, prison. This seems to be kind of dead end. Ooh, crunch. The other thing is, I'm pretty sure if I hit a Sand King head on, it's probably just going to go over the top of my car. Because they've got such crazy monster truck tyres. <laughs> they're just going to go flying. Uh, or going to bounce over the top of me. Hopefully with minimal damage to my car, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Ooh. Ah! Or alternatively, they're just going to bash me around like that. Right, okay. So this is what I was afraid of earlier, that it's going to end up... We're going to end up going off-road, and I'm going to see a massive disadvantage, because I'm in the Oracle, which is um, not an off-road vehicle. So I'm going to come back over here and get back onto the road and get batted around by that Sand King, granted. But they're shooting at me as well, which isn't going to help. Oh, there's, um, that looks like Pete in a slightly different um, truck vehicle. Okay, so now the question is, can I hold a straight tarmac road, a fairly straight tarmac road together for long enough to get away from, to, to use my speed to get away from them? I think the answer is probably yes. Um, which makes me feel a little bit bad about using this car, to be honest. I feel like it's a little bit cheap escaping like this, because I am just straight up faster than them. I did sort of suggest in a kind of nudge nudge hint hint kind of way, let's not go up there, that's a silly road. Let's go in here though. That perhaps they should have at least one hunter in um, in a coupe in case I tried something like this. I don't think they've taken my advice though. Uh, I'll forget this one. Oh, I see, um, I see a mic flying over the and I see a yellow one over there. Maybe it's time for a that vehicle is, poked, is, is stuck on a um, some sort of bollard. I'm not going to not going to switch to that. Okay, oh, here's here's a nice road. Let's take that one. Ah, uh, rolled. Right, so there we go. I'm the right way up. I'm on tarmac again. Let's get out of here. There's the yellow one on the top of that hill now, doing a nice um, drop onto the road. Well done there. So I, I can hear a siren behind me. I suspect I, I suspect Pete has um, picked up a. Uh, not a SWAT van. Those are the um, the FBI-esque vans that are used by the well by the FIB in, in this in this game. So the, the sort you get chasing you when you have a many star wanted level. So what I think I'm going to do is hoon up here until I spot something worth changing into, like that Sand King. Let's let's put me in a Sand King as well. That'll be at least interesting, if nothing if, even if nothing else. So if I stand behind it for a moment. Let yellow fly past. Then I can get in. He spotted my parked car. Okay. That was to be expected. Oh, he's... Come on, I'm trying to hotwire the car. Let me hotwire it in peace. There we go. Now I've got a Sand King as well, so everything is fair and funny. And the big floppy suspension all over the place. There we go. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so. Oh, they've chopped one of my tyres out. That's the problem with the Sand King. It has the massive comedy tyres, which means it's easy to um, to shoot the wheels out. Oh, this is going to give me problems. They're still shooting at me. What sort of rain? I suppose it's a massive open open space, so I'm a bit of a sitting duck. Right, okay, time to switch vehicles because I need tyres. Uh, run. So I'm going to try and lose myself in amongst these houses. At least until I can find another vehicle to get try and get away in. There's a, okay, there's a couple over there. I can hear. I can hear engines. I'm a bit feel a bit exposed here. Now, what I would traditionally do at this point is hide in a bush until the hunters go away. They're not going to go away because we're playing in. We've got the circle. Ah, there's an ATV over there. Can I get over this? Can I get over this? A climbable? No, it's not climbable. It's far too high. I hear shoot. I see shooting, or rather. Ooh, is that Mike? That might be Mike. Let's take this anyway. They're shooting at somebody. I hope it's not me, but I don't actually know. Let's try and do the sort of the I'm a panicked AI. Oh, <laughs> cool. One of the hunters has shot another hunter. 
Uh, and that means they both get killed. So I think that yellow thing behind me is probably a hunter. It's hard to tell though. Yes, it is. They're getting out. Yep, and they're shooting at me. Ah, uh, right. Okay. I wondered how long it was going to be until somebody started using um, using the bikes, because I reckon the bikes are going to be will be absolutely awesome for this. In the oops, dear. Right way up, please. There we go. Right. I think the bikes will be absolutely awesome in that they they handle they're they're absolutely amazing off road. So they're really good for that sort of thing. I'm still getting shot at. Um, so they'd be absolutely amazing off road because the handling and the grip and the power and, so, and, and the torque and so on. But they be, but they're absolutely useless in a in a pursuit because you can't ram somebody around with them. They've got no, you can't they, they can't use the bikes to push me push me off the road. I would, they'd just bounce off my car. And if I was if I was good enough, I'd manage to knock them out with, with um, or knock them over while they're on the bikes as well. So. Ooh. So yeah, the bikes are going to be good for keeping up, but not very good for stopping. Me. So I think who, who I think that was probably Ed because it was a yellow bike, but I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I think it's probably Ed. Um, he's going to be pursuing me and maybe giving advice and directions and stuff like that, but he's not going to be able to stop me. He can hop off if he thinks I'm going to carry on in a straight line for long enough. He can hop off and try and take pot shots at me with a sniper rifle, I'm sure. But there's a fairly high chance that if he tries that, I'm going to have gone a different way by the time he does. So I think all he can really do is just keep an eye on me until I do that. Oh, it was Tristan. Okay. Well, it serves him right for being on a bike and being being on a yellow vehicle as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was a um, <laughs> definitely the um, what's, what's the word? The uh, oh, that's a rock. The brave but with a certain downside approach to the um, <laughs> the chase. Uh, so as you saw, he kept up with me excellently, but there wasn't a thing he could do about it when he when he got near me. He was like a dog chasing a car. Um, <clears throat> I was able to just sort of eventually just ram him off, ram him, knock him, knock him off his bike, and then run him over. So yeah, that's basically why I haven't used a dirt bike yet. I've seen the quad bikes around, and they are very, very tempting. What is that? What am I stuck on? I'm gonna get shot at. Ah, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit my tires either. I need those. Oh, he got one of my tyres. He's got at least one of my tyres. The car is not handling properly now. That's going to make it difficult for me to get, get get moving, let alone get away. Yeah, this 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 car is now in trouble. Um, he's taken out one of the tyres, so it just doesn't it doesn't handle at all. I need to get I need to get a replacement. Let's try this one. Oh, there he is. He's turned up again. Oh no, it takes too long to get a car started in this game. Ah. Oh. Oh no, it's going so well too. Uh, well, I say it was going well, it was, it was going. I'm terrible at off-roading, I should stop doing this. You didn't get knocked out, Matt. Whereabouts? Uh, southern side of the circle. On my way? That does actually seem like the most likely direction for him to be travelling, given its lack of movement right now. And where uh, he would have been if, if it is him, last time about, moved. The circle's about to move. Right now. Yep. Yes, this, it moves. this is him. Yep. Uh, a carry-in. Uh, grey, no, sort of brownish, rust, rust coloured, uh, heading to the prison. What's a heading carrion? What's a, a pigeon? What? What's a carrion? You said it was a carrion. Carrion. Oh, carrion. Okay. It's a sand king, but smaller. And a bit faster. <laughs> I do feel I need to point out that Mike said, on my way, and then immediately drove into a pole. <laughs> I, I also had a. a a, a, a flex issue. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm now on the road next to my vehicle. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. him. Uh, heading west through, I don't know. We're on Route 68, if that helps anyone. I have suddenly got very laggy, I don't know why. It's not me for once. Because yeah. we're on Route 68. Strange. Heading west. Uh, I would say high speed, but it's really not. My FPS is like halved. This is painful. 
Oh, it did. I think we're both going at top speed now. Uh, oh, he's, he's what's, your, what's your speedo say? Uh, 160 kilometers. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm going to stay on the right hand side of the road, Pete, if you want to go on the left. That sounds uh, wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got FPS back as well. So I see. He's hit, I think this is this going in toward, back towards the city. Ah, I've rolled it. I've lost him. But he's. I'm going to do something stupid. I don't uh -oh. even see this purple. <laughs> the, there's the sort of helix roads. Ooh. I think FPS he was again. heading up these. But I don't oh, my computer's burning up. That's why. Poor computer. So it will move again. The one in front of the red one, Ed. Ming. The red one just turned off. I think it's this one, uh, it's a check shirt. Oh, damn. That's very, um... So I skip him. Yeah. So, uh, light blue check shirt. A guy. Still proceeding down Route 68. Uh, he may have a slight speed advantage, however, he has gone down a dead end. And has therefore had to go off road. Uh. Ugh. I, I should have yeah. got out and sniper I'm used to weapon. switching cars whenever they get too slow, and uh, that, you can't do that in this mode. Yeah. He's taken a right and then immediately turned left. He's drifted. I've pitted him, and he has had a crash. He's now off-road, but I'm stuck on a crash barrier. I've got off the crash barrier, uh, off-road on the uh, northern side of the circle. He's back on the main road, heading uh, whatever direction that is. Towards the dishes. He's towards the dishes. West. Heading west. Ah, Pete, this way. That black thing. I can't on left. see you. Yeah. Uh, go to the dishes and go west. There we go. I mean, I, I, I could see you for like three frames as you jutted past. You've discovered my pain. Yeah. Is he still going along? Yeah, he's... Yeah, yeah he's, he's, but he's so fast, I'm going to lose him in about five seconds, give or take. He's still going west, though. I think I'm sufficiently after the chase that I'm going to change vehicle. We've got too many hey, he's turned right. I'm gonna try and cut over the thing. You keep following it. Okay, I'll try. Uh, okay, he's in the hills near the oil derricks, heading the west northwest. He's now driving around a sand king like a bum. He's now headed towards that little factory. I don't remember oh, what it's called. Uh. No, yeah, I, see, I, I see you and see him. He turned away from me. Which is most unfortunate. I believe that's him on the road west. I can't uh, tell for sure, but there's a black car going at a high rate of speed west. That seems likely. Yep, so it just moved. Okay, we're going under the bridge to Stab City. Ooh, I don't see him anymore, though. So Unless just he moved. cars. So just moved. He's booking it, man. I can't catch yeah, him Yeah, I think that's a loss at this time. I'm making a beeline for the circle. That was way off. Guys. So I'm actually not so bad now. So we still think... Uh, he switched cars, he switched cars, he switched cars. He's getting into Sand King, he's getting into Sand King. Black Sand Banks. King. Right here, right, right where my yellow truck is. He's, is he heading east? Right here! Oh, that guy, right, got it, got it, got it. Which way is he going? S Nowhere he's yet. Currently stationary. <laughs> uh, heading northeast. Oh, I've had an accident. 
He's going towards uh, Sandy. Got a tire. He's struggling to get out of the cave, stay out of the water. I fired a shot as well. I hit him, but I don't know if I did anything worth mentioning. That right tire is gone. That's good. He is he still in the sinking? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's. I think that's him leaving in a black Volkswagen, dusty, headed away from what is this store? Liquor Ace. That's uh, not him. Well. Oh. Damn. Oh, this one. The. Uh, oh. Yeah. Sorry. Heading east. Uh, along the main road. In a. What even is this? Number two box. Okay. Uh, that teleport command again. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Remember, I'm in yellow, so don't shoot me. Sorry, yeah, I just saw a uh, suspicious looking yeah, character moving around. Yeah, this is him south over the railway lines from Sandy Shores. <coughs> okay. Uh, heading towards Travers Airfield. I'm, at, uh, I'm now at the airfield. Short runway. Head towards the end of that. And he's off road that way. Oh. He's rolled up. No, he's back on the on his wheels. Uh, Where about? Route 68 again. Uh, heading west. Every road for miles seems to be called 68. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the one that goes past the prison. He's turned off it onto a dirt road. There's not much I can do because I'm on a dirt bike. Sounds like an excuse. How did that kill me so quickly? It was a bump and I just died. Where, where, where were you when you died? On the dirt roads around there. The dirt roads? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, is he in a doom buggy thing? Yeah, the... Found him. He's currently on Route 68, the tarmac road version, <laughs> uh, heading west. Yep, this is definitely him, so we just moved. Uh, still heading west down Route 68, main road. He's gone off-road, he's taken the jump, he's just, just in the air, really. Over road, he's heading due north, and he's hit a tree and had an accident. And I'm about to ruin his day. He's down. Ah, he might have lost a tyre. Uh, he's taken off heading east. And I've lost contact with him, but he can't have the got very far. The trailer park, I think, is near you. No, he's still here. He's still uh, eastern side of the circle. He's trying to steal a 4x4. Got him. Oh. Hello. Ah! Hello, Pete. Oh, you Hello. Stop, stop at this moment. Oh, you kept getting my tyres. <laughs> Oh, I got your tires. I thought I missed. No, no you got my tires. That's why I was trying to change out to the uh, dune bug. Oh, so I did. Yeah, no, looking at it, that's flat. Is this one flat as well? Yeah, I got two tires. Oh, that's nice. I was really pleased with the Sand King one. You were heading east in back into Sandy Shores. And I was up, up on the hill with a sniper rifle. 